Hi, I'm Crystal Hart and welcome to the Crystal Hart Show. We are in Las Vegas, Nevada at the T-Mobile Arena. And this was Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder 3. And we had two heavyweights, warriors, who went toe to toe in such an exciting fight. But after 11 rounds, Tyson Fury knocked out Deontay Wilder to retain his WBC championship belt. And now let's go to the press conference. One of the, it's certainly it's the best live heavyweight fight I've seen. It was just amazing. Two warriors in there who gave everything, and it was just so absorbing. My only regret is the Brits weren't here as well. Could, could you imagine what the, the atmosphere is marvellous? With the Brits here, it would have been even more special. But what a, what a man he is. He is the standout heavyweight Tyson Fury of his generation, bar none. Have you ever seen him perform better than what you saw tonight? I have seen him perform better. I've seen him box better, but I'll tell you something, I'm not, I'm, the heart, his heart and, and the bravery, he's just amazing. He's an amazing person, an amazing athlete, and uh, boxing should be proud of him and proud of what he did tonight. And also Deontay Wilder. It took two guys to make this fight tonight. Indeed it did, and Bob, you and I were chatting just a few moments ago, and I asked you, Bob, if you'd had, in all of your years in promoting boxing, if this fight, if you've ever seen anything like this, or what fight maybe did this remind you of, and what did you tell me? Well, Christina, first I want to uh, apologize to all the fans who spent their money to see such a boring fight. <laughs> uh, listen, I've been in this business 57 years promoting fights, and I truly have to say, I have never seen a heavyweight fight as magnificent as this. And I am so proud of the man on my right. He showed heart, ability. He is truly a fighting man. What Thank you, kind of, Go Thank ahead, you yeah. I mean, really well, well, sure, it. respond to that. I mean, this, this man who, who has been and seen it all promoted the likes of Muhammad Ali just giving you those compliments. I'm absolutely humbled by uh, Bob's words. Um, not a chance to look at the fight yet, but I anticipate it was a good fight. We were both down a few times, <laughs> and it was uh, edge-of-the-seat stuff, Bob. Could have swung either way. But, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, when, when I have to pull the chips out every time, I've delivered 33 times in a row, I, and I never let, never let anyone down. I always give it me all, 100% tonight. I, I came into this fight tonight thinking, you can only do your best in life, and whatever's meant to be, whatever's destined, written in the stars for you will be. And that's it, I trained hard, I dedicated my life, and I, I got the victory tonight. And I just want to say thank you to God, and thank you to all my team and all that. And it was a great, uh, great time, but... I've been home for two weeks out the last six months. Um, I just had a little daughter born. I didn't have the best preparations in camp, but I don't make excuses. You know, I, was, I came here, I was fit as a fiddle and I was strong as an ox. So it, it was what it was. Uh, but now I'm going to go home and regroup and uh, spend some time, some well-earned time with my kids and my wife. And, uh, and that's sad, but without this man sat next to me here, this Sugar Hill, the big dog, I wouldn't have knocked him out tonight. He was like to me, in 9, 10, and 11, he was like, get this beep, beep out of here. Stop messing around. He was like, the big dog gets him out late. And he pushed me to knock him out. He really did. I was going to say, just now before Tyson said it, Sugar Hill, what a trainer. I mean, tremendous job tonight, oh, Sugar. You know, it, it's, it's, it's the genes. Uh, Sugar Hill has the right genes. Emmanuel Stewart, my dear friend, the late Emmanuel Stewart, 
the greatest trainer, now his nephew. I mean, you really learn from Emmanuel. Sugar, how would you describe what we witnessed tonight? Say that one more time. I know the echo makes it hard yeah. to hear. I know. How would you describe what we witnessed tonight? I describe this, uh, this fight that just happened as probably, for me, like one of the most exciting fights in history, uh, especially in the heavyweight division. And the two, I mean, you have the two biggest men in boxing. Go at it like that, put each other down, give it everything they got. And I have to, uh, you know, give all the credit to Deontay Wilder and his team, uh, Malik Scott for stepping in and, and uh, pushing him to where he was able, pushing him to, whatever, to what he was able to do today. And he showed a lot of heart, a lot of change. And, uh, you know, I, I give it up to them for that. And on the other hand, Big dog Tyson Fury got off the porch, got out there, got the job done, and uh, that's what really matters. You know, it's all about winning, and of course I like knockouts. Um, I get that from my uncle Emmanuel. That's everything that he taught me. I've been living with him like about 35 years of my life, so I learned as much as I could with him, and he's like a father to me, so I watched everything. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for having to learn from him. Also being a, a gentleman and being professional too. I, I got a lot of that from him. And uh, it allows me to make new friends out here and uh, to be able to you know, push Tyson and to be able to make things exciting you know, just for boxing. With this fight that just happened, boxing is big and boxing is back. The heavyweight division is flourishing. Big time boxing, knockout time. Tyson Fury, big dog, Gypsy King. How about that, Shane? Ooh, 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 ooh. Tyson, round four, what was going through your mind after those two knockdowns? Not a great deal. Um, you, get, you go swimming and you're going to get what? You mess with fire long enough, you'll get burned, you know. I've had three fights with the biggest puncher in the history of my sport, in my division. And he caught me, you know, he caught me uh, twice in the fourth round. But I was never like thinking, oh, this is over. I was thinking, okay, good shot, but I will get you back in a minute. And I did. I was, I, was, I was very conscious, I uh, saw the ref go three, four, and uh, I, was, I was always there, you know. He shook me, he put me down, and uh, that's boxing, it, and it, it's life as well. It's not about how many times you get put down, or how many times you lose or win, it's about how, how you can come back and keep getting back up and keep moving forward. Like Rocky said, you've got to keep moving forward and uh, in a positive manner and keep fighting. Not just in a boxing fight, but in life in general, because nothing's ever going to be easy. If you want something that's very hard to get, you've got to sacrifice and dedicate and keep pushing, no matter what. And never let anybody tell you you can't. Because tonight, again, time and time again, I show that it's very possible to achieve anything you ever want, as long as you believe it in here. That's true. Kevin Ioli uh, from Yahoo Sports. This is from Tyson. Congratulations, Tyson. Thank you. I wonder where you look at your place in boxing history, in heavyweight history, as a six foot nine, two hundred seventy-seven pound guy. I can't imagine there's too many heavyweights in the history of the sport that would be able to deal with you. How do you see your place when you look at the whole history of boxing? You know, I've always been one of these people who always says, like, I can never fight people from the past, so I'd never disrespect anybody. I can only beat whoever's in my era, and I've done that. I've done that all my life. Um, I don't like competing with other fighters from the past because it's fantasy and it's not reality. And I wouldn't like to disrespect any of the former champions, the long, long line of champions and the heavyweights, even from when heavyweights were like 185 pounds, right till today. I'd never disrespect any of them and I respect the sport wholeheartedly. And uh, let's just say I'm the lineal champion of my era and uh, I, can only, I can only be the best of my day. And I've done that. I'm the best fighter in my era. I'm the generation fighter. I actually feel sorry for all these guys who's had to fight me because I'm in, I'm not in the dressing room at home. I'm not nervous. You know, it's a boxing fight to me. I feel, I feel sorry for them because they're fighting the fighter of the generation. That's for sure. And, you know, Tyson, you follow the sport for a long time. So if you don't want to put your place in history, who were the heavyweights that you love the most and that you look at that you feel like stood above other guys? You know, there's a long, long line of them. And they go right back to John L. Sullivan, um, Jack Dempsey, Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis, Muhammad Ali, George Foreman, Ken Norton, Joe Frazier, all these guys, the Klitschko brothers. There's been so many, so many great champions. Even the guys from today, like Anthony Joshua and uh, Alexander Usek and myself and everybody else, they're all good champions. But without sounding too sharp and clever, I place myself right on top of the pile. I believe that I could beat anyone in the history, any man 
born, I believe I've got a really good chance in beating him. There is always a way of beating Tyson Fury, and I've always said it very, very clearly. Just got to knock me spark out, and if you can't do that, I'll win. And that's it. But like I say, I can only, I can only be the best of my era, and I, I'm definitely that. Sean? Tyson, Tyson, congrats on winning one of the greatest fights of all time. What would you say were Deontay's effective adjustments and improvements tonight? What did he do better uh, than the first two fights? What was that again? Can you say that again? Because I didn't hear There's you. There's a really bad it's echo. Uh, oh, it's really hard Tyson, to congratulations on winning one of the greatest fights of all time. What would you say were Deontay's effective adjustments and improvements from the first two fights tonight? That made yeah, it yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, Tan. Yeah, he improved, he worked on his boxing and stuff. Um, it was a different fight, you know, it was, a, it was a, uh, a much different fight from fight two and a much different fight from fight one. He came in real heavy tonight, like 238 pounds, and I believe that helped him, and he was definitely hitting, hitting solid. Um, but you know what? I thought that we, uh, we fought it all out there, and all the allegations that they made towards me, like, throughout the build-up of the, the, this fight, um, and we fought like two warriors in there, and I went over to shake his hand and say, well done, and he was like, no, I don't respect you. I was like, how can you say I've cheated when you know in your own heart and your full team knows that you just got beat fair and square? So it's just like, is this a sore loser in boxing or what? But I'm sure he's not the first one and he won't be the last one. But I've acted like a gentleman throughout my career and that's all I can do as a man. Straight back here, Tyson. Dan Raphael from The Ring magazine. You mentioned uh, a few moments ago, you had mentioned uh, Alexander Usyk. And I just wondered, I know the fight just ended, the great fight, but do you have any thoughts or desires in the future to face him for the undisputed championship to get those other belts? I know you're the lineal champion, but uh, he seems like the guy that you might want to fight next, or Joshua if he wins the rematch. We'll see, you know, I've got a, um, I've got a, I've just earned a well-earned break from everything. Been away from my family for six months um, in total. Been home two weeks out of the last six months. So uh, before I start thinking about fighting other men, I'm going to bask in this victory. Because this tonight was one of my greatest uh, wins. Um, I got off the floor to, to do it. And, um, you know, I'm the big dog in the division. I believe that to do, uh, probably one of the heaviest uh, heavyweight champions in history tonight. 277 pounds. Um, and, you know, I was fit. I was strong in there and I felt good. So, yeah. Well, uh, we'll just, just see what uh, today brings and tomorrow as well. Fair enough. One other question for you, Tyson. Uh, Frank mentioned it earlier when he made his opening remarks. I wondered how, it was a great crowd here and a great enthusiasm, but give me your thoughts about not being able to have the British fans that are so raucous and supportive of their fighters in the building to support you. You know, it, it was a great atmosphere in here tonight. The fans were amazing and everybody who, who bought a ticket in here got the money's worth, definitely. But, you know, it, um, the British fans couldn't travel, and we saw the support that I had last time in Vegas. Vegas would have been full of Brits. It, we were sold this arena out ten times if we'd have been allowed to travel. But, you know, this is, this is the, uh, the pandemic, and uh, worse of things have happened at sea, and we'll see what happens next. Uh, Mike Hoppinger, ESPN. Tyson, congrats on an amazing victory, and more importantly, maybe, being in a great fight. And I'm wondering, I know you know your history as well as anyone for boxing. Does this mean a little more extra to you to be involved in such an amazing fight that people are going to talk about for years and years? Yeah, it was a great fight. You know, um, rarely do we see heavyweight trilogies. I believe the last one was uh, Riddick Bowe and Evander Holyfield. And those fights didn't disappoint either. They were great fights. Um, me and Wilder saga is done now, done for good. And um, it, was, it was definitely a historic uh, trilogy for sure. Swung both ways, and both fighters had the opportunity to, to seize the moment. And it was just that I, uh, I showed the initiative and dug deeper, and I wanted it more. Because at the end of the day, when it comes down to that sort of fight, it's who's willing to push further. And I wasn't willing to let it go to the scorecards. I was definitely trying for a knockout. And, uh, and follow up real quick. You were pushing hard for that knockout. Were you surprised that Wilder didn't go earlier, or that the ref didn't stop it, or the corner? No, you know, Wilder's a very tough guy, and um, he's got heart, definitely got heart to keep going. But uh, 
I think one of the ringside doctors or one of the commission people got in the ring at one stage to check he was okay. I'm not sure what was going on. I thought they might have pulled him out there, but he took a lot of punishment tonight, Deontay Wilder, and that puts a lot of mileage on the clock. Uh, so did I. I took a lot of punishment as well. Had some good shots, and I got put over and got back up. And it was just a great fight, all in all. You know, um, like uh, Sugar said, you got to uh, take your hat off to Wilder's team and him as well. He, he, he put up a good fight, and that's what I'm here for. I wasn't here to blow someone over in one round. I travelled the world for so many years to find challenges, and he gave me uh, a real worthy challenge tonight for sure. Tyson, Tyson. Um, Gareth Davis from the Telegraph. I just wanted to ask you. Has there, could there be any consideration that this could be the end of your career and that you could walk away retired as the top of the era? I can't really hear you there, Gareth. Tyson, are you considering or could you consider retiring even at this point? Do you know what, uh, Gareth? I'm going to go out and have a couple of drinks and relax. I'm not even thinking about boxing. Like I just said, I'm basking in this glory. Because last time, after the fight too, I sort of like just went out, went to bed, and then got up the next day and flew home. And, and this has been a well, well-deserved victory tonight, and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm not thinking about anything else. And all the way through, people were trying to overlook Deontay Wilder. But not for one moment did I want to say that I'm going to overlook him or look at somebody else. Because if I would have looked past Wilder tonight, I'd, I would, I'd, he'd have been sat here and not me. And after a thrilling contest like that, you must be incredibly proud of yourself, as you said, but are you really going to fall into a depression now? I hope not. <laughs> I'm going to try my best to, uh, to keep positive and, and stay focused on, on being happy, and uh, I've got a lot to be thankful for in my life. God's given me everything that I've ever asked for, and I've got a lot to be thankful for, for sure. Thank you. Uh, Tyson, Keith Eidek from BoxingScene.com. I was just wondering what your thoughts are on if you think Deontay Wilder will fight again, he took a lot of punishment tonight and was viciously knocked out. I've not seen the actual um, the knockout, but I felt it. You know, I felt like it was he was getting tired and he was getting fatigued, and I hit him solid with a crunching right hook right in the side of the temple, and shots like that they uh, they end careers. And um, I just hope that he's okay, you know. He took a lot of punishment tonight. We have left uppercuts, right uppercuts, right hooks, right hands. And, uh, yeah, he was, uh, definitely took some punishment. So we'll see, we'll see what he can do in, in the future. Hi, Tyson. Ali Bailey with Bleacher Report. So about over 80% of the betting public tonight favored Wilder. What do you say to those who doubted you? They always if you get your statistics, I mean, Fury was a three to one favorite. It went down to two, 250 to one. So where did, you, where did you get that the public, I mean, really, this is serious. FanDuel, the greatest uh, 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 get, bet app, uh, which is a sponsor of the fight. I mean, you're making up stuff. That the public, look, this is Las Vegas. What you're talking about is that Tyson was a big favorite, so the small bettors who come in at the last minute bet the underdog, right? I've seen 50 to one fights where there's more bet on the underdog in the last hour by the public. Believe me, the betting favored Tyson Fury. Thank you. Next time they know who to put their money on. Yeah. Yeah, like Frank said, next time they know who to put the money on if they want to keep keep it in the pocket and earn a few quid. Is that a wrap? Are we done? And another thing I'd like to address. Tyson, any closing what? comments? Yeah. You, the lineal champion of the world, still undefeated. Congratulations once again. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy some time with your family. Thank you for your class. Thank you very much. Not bad for a feather duster, eh? Non puncher. Claim one punch knockout. Get up there, my boy. Sugar, congratulations. Enjoy some time, Bob. Now is Thank the you. time. Now is the time. He's been in. It was a hell of a fight. He's put in months preparing for the fight. It all came out great because of his heart and his belief in himself. I think this is the time to say good night and let him enjoy it with his
friends, with his wife. And let's have a round of applause for the heavyweight champion of the world and the and we'll greatest see you. fighter that we've seen in a, in a long, long time. And I'm Crystal Hart reporting from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the fights.